because I'm, uh, I shop here all the time. Shame that it's closing. It's been around for a long time. I'm probably going to miss it. It's been a rough year for traditional department stores. It's a retailing model that doesn't work. St. Joseph's right University marketing professor Michael Solomon says J.C. Penney, like many department stores, failed to innovate. And it's not just online shopping that's to blame. Off-price retailers like Nordstrom Rack and so-called fast fashion stores like Primark have learned to give customers what they want. They can go in once a week or even every few days and literally see new stuff on the shelves and especially for young people that's really important so jc penny has not been able to compete because they still for the most part have very a very traditional distribution model. Solomon says e-commerce won't kill off brick and mortar stores entirely, but moving forward, successful retailers will sell both products and an experience. Stores that offer, for example, cooking classes or you know, build a bear workshops or or you know, the American girl kind of phenomenon. Those stores have a real future because they are allowing people to do two things at once. JCPenney has 1,000 stores right now, and it plans to focus on improving them. Liquidation sales start in April, and most stores are expected to be closed by June. Reporting live in Willow Grove, Jeff Cherico, Channel 6.